in the Philippines, there are people who are very, very rich and people who are very, very poor. A lot of people do not have access to clean water. They do not have um, access to good food. And not a lot of children go through quality education. Practice just started because a group of young professionals saw that there is a big problem. A lot of mothers were making rugs, earning money for their families. And they used to get the scrap materials from the dump site. Nagmumulot kami ng mga basura, nagpipili kami ng mga basura, um, lahat ng mga, mga pwedeng ibenta, binibenta namin. Ganun ako before. After some time, when it became a small cottage industry, some other people thought it's a good opportunity for them too. So middlemen came. One middleman sold it to another middleman, who sold it to another middleman, and finally to the mother. She now has to shell out some money, and the middleman gets bulk of the share. Now, Rags Riches get the scraps straight from the factory to the mother. We acknowledge that we have to include the mothers in the formal supply chain. They're usually not included. They're just faceless people behind the products. Malaking bagay na itulong sa akin ng Rags to Riches. Uh, isa sa mga bagay na tinulong nila sa amin yung pang-araw-araw naming ginagamit, kinakain, yung mga gastusin sa araw-araw. After some time, we started thinking, why not create higher value products, not just rugs? We approached a very, very good designer, local designer here. I feel that uh, um, there's beauty in everything. And I feel that there was this raw, beautiful raw material that could be made into something beautiful. I told them, you know, let's stop thinking about this as rags but let's elevate it as fashionable objects. So from a simple rug that you used to step on, it evolved into a lot of other products. Everything that we use is either recycled or organic. We transform scraps of raw materials into something of higher value. Rags to Riches and the Mothers together um, helped create this system we're hoping that in the future, the mothers will have enough savings to bring their kids to better schools or just have extra money. We always like to bring the mothers to our stores. When they see it in a setting such as this, when they see it in a fashion show, in a launch, it really uplifts them. It also gives them a sense of dignity of their work. They know that they're being recognized for what they do every day. That is empowerment beyond just um, giving them extra income. Dati po, hindi po namin lubos maisip na yung mga gawa namin is makikita sa iba-ibang bansa. Dati is wala kaming pakialam sa mga ginagawa namin. Not like now na kikita namin kung nasaan, ano yung market, ano yung pinatutunguhan ng mga gawa namin. I think right now it's just sort of making them believe that what they're doing is special. I think it's just that paradigm shift from the lowly rags. We actually can make them rich, not just monetarily, but rich in heart and rich in mind and rich in pride. Rags to Riches is, I think, one of the few organizations that are started by Filipinos, helping Filipinos. We do appreciate a lot of help from outside, but we're proudly, proudly Filipino, and it's about time that we help ourselves. <laughs>